continuation of the series of uh, lectures. This lecture is on the sounds of English. When we talk about the sounds of English, we are dealing with the pronunciation of English in spoken English. We are talking about spoken English as opposed to written English. And the sounds belong to spoken English why letters of the alphabet belong to uh, written English. Sounds belong to, to spoken English why letters are used in written English. Sounds are used when speaking and the sounds of English belong to what is called the phonology of English. That's a technical term but you needn't worry about it. Letters are used when writing and the letters of English belong to the alphabet, that is, the graphology of English writing system. The letters of the alphabet of English are the ones that you use in writing. And that area is called graphology. That's the, again another technical term. You needn't worry about that. It belongs to the English writing system. There are 44 sounds, sounds, that is, segments, 44 sounds called segments of English, whereas there are only 26 letters of the English alphabet. There are 44 sounds of English pronunciation, whereas there are 26 letters of the alphabet that are used in the writing uh, system of English. Five two English sound system. The English sound system consists of the following aspects. That is, when you talk about the pronunciation of English generally in spoken English. We talk about consonants and vowels, that is, the segments of English. That's A. B. You talk about syllables, stress, and intonation. These are called the supra segments of English. The technical term is called supra segmental. Uh, uh, phonology of English. We take the consonants of English, consonant sounds of English, and the consonant sounds of English are divided into seven. I will divide them into seven. There are those sounds you call stops or plosives. Is another name they may find in the book is plosives. That's they are sounds now, they are not letters. Although they are written as letters here, but there you will find some of them that are written in the typical sound. These sounds are stops, and there are six of them. And I will pronounce them as they are pronounced in English. You have p, p, as in pet, point. Part, put, there's b, b, as in bed, bed, boy, there's t, t, as in t, toe, two, then there's d, as in desk, do, dog, then there's k, as in keg, cow, Cool, although with different spellings, but they are k, k, you call it k sound. Then there's g, that's the g sound, g, as in go, go, god, god. Those are the six stops. The b one, the b section are fricatives, what you call fricatives, fricative sounds of English. They are f, the f sound. The F sound. 
far as in far, few, photo, photograph, that's f, that's the first sound. Then there's v, v, v sound as in vet, view, vote. There's no problem because they are written in English. Then there's the s sound. This one does not exist in the letters. This is s sound. It's pronounced s sound. But they are written as th. I mean, it's written as th in the pronunciation of English, as in the word think, thank, think, thank, th. There's also the the, which is also written in th. The difference is one is called voiceless sound, the other one is called voice sound. The, the sounds are in pairs, as a matter of fact. The first six sounds of stops are voiceless voice. First two, second two, sec third two. This one also uh, in terms of fa and va. Fa is voiceless and va is voice. Va as in voice. Then tha as in think. Through. And then the the sound as in the man, these, that, thou. Then there is the sir sound, sir, sir, as in so, see. Then there is the, the, as in zoo, zin, zoo. Then there is sh sound, sh sound, as in sure, shell, shaft. Then there's the y sound, y sound, the sound in measure, measure, pleasure, the j, j sound, pleasure. Then there is the ha sound, ha, h sound, h sound, as in how, house. After that you have the nasals. There are three nasal sounds, sounds that are produced through the nose, the m. M sound, as in man, men, mouse, etc. Then there's the n, 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 n sound, as in nose, near, night, and so on. Then there's the n, mm, n mm sound, n, mm, as a nasal sound that you have in song. I sing a song. You know, most Nigerians will pronounce sing, song. No, it's sing, sing, song, singing. All right? Long, not long. Long. That is the sound that is pronounced there. Those are the three nasal sounds. Then there is the Africates. Africates. There are only two of them. There's the ch sound and the j sound. The ch are in chair, church, choose, and so on. Then there's the j, j sound, j, as in judge, jeer, jail, jest. After that, you have the lateral, lateral, the l sound, l sound, as in low, lie lose the first sound in these words. Then there's the trill, what you call trill, that's the R sound, R sound, R as in row, ride, ring, raise, write. Then there are the last two sounds, consonant sounds are the uh, semi vowels they're called semi vowels there's the wa 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 the w sound and the ya ya sound the w in 
wait why where that's the first sound worry and then there's yeah as in you the first sound in you yes so those are the 24 consonant sounds of English I have produced the words representing them but they are not written in the text but for you to just know how they are pronounced and in which words they are pronounced there are several words and in these consonants and there are sometimes the spellings also the, the, the in the writing system the, the writing system may what you have like uh, like uh, gut sound the gut sound or the k sound cat sound when you have cat c a t all right is although it's spelled C, but it's pronounced ka as in cat, cow. All right. Now we go to the next set of sounds, the vowel sounds. The, there are twenty vowel sounds in the type of English that is used, that is taught in Nigerian uh, school, Nigerian universities. Anybody who teaches uh, the phonology of English, teaches pronunciation of English, will tell you that there are 20 vowel sounds. There are, vari there are varieties, there are, there are versions that have 22, 24 and so on. But the one we teach consists of 20 vowel sounds made up of 12 simple vowels, 12 simple vowels called monothons, monothons, single and simple vowels, and 8 combined vowel sounds, 8 combined vowel sounds called diphthongs. The 8 combined vowel sounds are the ones that one vowel moves from one vowel area to another. But the simple vowels are just one single sound. Okay, so we take the 12 simple vowels uh, as follows. Again, the 12